What's going on everybody? I hope everybody is having a great week so far. So today we're going to talk about a Tata Venus combination that you can try. Well, something similar and something that he is uh, obviously influenced in a lot of people's playing. Y'all already know what day it is. It's Tutorial Thursdays. So to all the new subscribers, welcome to A Percussion Life. My name is Eric Perez. Some of y'all already know that by now, but just had to welcome you to the channel and uh, really appreciate you hitting that uh, subscription box below and uh, checking out these videos. Uh, hope you enjoy the channel. And if you haven't subscribed already, just hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button, find out whenever I'm uploading. And yes, we upload videos every Monday and every Thursday, something new, something different, and something fresh. And it's normally things that you request. And to all my day ones, man, my goodness, I seriously appreciate all the support, all the love, man all the appreciation, all the comments, man. You guys are seriously awesome. And I know, I know, one of you guys shared Monday's video to Luis Conte himself because my goodness, he checked it out, he, he loved it. And Luis, thank you so much for, for sharing it, man. I really appreciate that, you know, that video was for you and for a lot of people that may not have known about you or not may not know the history um, what you have given to this community man so that's why that's the only reason why i cover these masters man is to kind of just illuminate to those that may not know uh, what these masters have done and how they paved the way for many of us that are either aspiring percussionists percussionists that are professionals percussionists that want to be percussionists you know yeah that's the only reason why i cover these people because they they already have done so much so this Tata Venus combination, uh, I already did a video on Tata Venus. I'll link it up here somewhere. Kind of talked on this, but never really put his combination in context into what you could put in a tumbao. So I just kind of wanted to show you guys a variation that you could try at home. If you don't know who Tata Venus is, this, yeah, he is somebody that influenced so many of the Congueros today. He was doing things in the 50s and the 60s that people are still trying to learn today and trying to master today. So I would say in regards to like modern drumming, him and Candido were the ones that kind of like pushed that and were doing things that were completely unorthodox in regards to hand drumming. So if you don't know who Tata Winas is, please, please check out his music, check out videos or anything that you could get your grasp on in regards to him because Honestly, he is a pioneer in his own right, and he was doing things that was just crazy just on two congas. So, yeah, man, check out Tata Winners whenever you can. So, the combination I want to show you guys is this. just got to love those little moves man so let me show you what i'm doing this combination is actually pretty pretty simple man it's just all about developing your weaker hand kind of strengthening it and making sure it get project well and you know have a nice little tight sound in regards to these movements that are going to happen here so to break it down it's pretty simple you start with an open slap with your right hand then after doing that open slap, and just to keep in mind, this is the only thing your left hand is going to be doing. You're gonna do a bass and then a finger, all right? So a bass and finger. So to put that together, it's gonna to sound like this. After doing that, you're going to do an open on your tumba. To put that together, it's gonna sound like this. And if you want, you could just skip the rest of the tutorial. That's a nice combination on its own. Four notes, pretty nice. If you ever wanna try it, 
sped up, it sounds crazy. So it sounds like this. Oh yeah. After doing that open on the dumba, you're gonna go back to your left hand and you're gonna do a bass and finger. So to put that together, it's gonna sound like this. After doing that bass and finger part, you're gonna go back to your main drum and you're going to do a bass with your right hand. So it's gonna sound like this. So to put that together, it's gonna sound like this. Just getting better every step of the way. I'm trying to tell you guys, you gotta love it. After doing that bass with your main hand, you're gonna go back to your left hand and do that bass and finger. I'm trying to tell you that bass finger move from Dr. Winus is classic. It's his, guys, it's his, all right? That bass finger movement is Dr. Winus. I'm trying to tell you guys. After that bass and finger, this is kind of like the secret sauce of the movement, you know? Every movement has a nice little secret sauce. And what you're gonna do is, you can make this a muff, but sometimes, especially when you start speeding it up, it just becomes like a ghost note in a way, or just a finger tap. But yeah, so after those bass and finger parts, you're gonna go and do either finger tap, you could try a muff with your main hand. So to give you both perspectives, it's gonna sound like this or either one, it sounds good either way. So to put that part together, it's gonna sound like this. After doing that muff part, you're gonna go back to your left hand and you're gonna do that bass and finger. After that bass and finger to finish the whole combination, you're just gonna do one open on with your right hand on the conga. So to put the whole thing together, it's gonna sound like this. You got to love it. Now, where do you put this in a tumba? So I only found one good place where this whole combination can fit in just your basic tumba. Again, like I kind of showed, you can modify this, cut this up, skip to certain parts and really use it if you just want to hit the time. But if we're going to count this thing, this is the best way. So I'm gonna first show it and then I'll break it down for you guys. put it. So the best place that I found that you could put this combination is after you do the close slap in the tumbao and then right after you do that finger movement which is the next part of the tumbao section is when you do the open slap to start the combination. So to give you an example of that is this. I'm not sure if you caught it but let me show it again.
Now here's the tricky part. That open that you do that kind of finishes the combination, that's actually the one. Now here's the crazier parts of the combination. That open slap is actually the three. Oh yeah, the three. We're coming in on the three and we're actually landing on one. Math, I tell you, you gotta love it. So let me count it for you guys so you could kind of get the idea on how and when I'm coming in, all right? So if you notice, it's the open slap that starts the whole combination is a three and the base in the middle of the combination is the four and then to end the combination is the one. Oh yeah. I'm trying to tell you, man, these combinations, they get crazy, but they're fun. Try them out, man. It really tests your mind. It tests you to count and it's great to count. Trust me. Counting is good. As a percussionist, it is good. Wait until the future when we start to get into the 1E and a 2E and a 3E and a 4E and a. Wait. Just wait. That's going to be fun. That's going to be like down the line, but man, I'm excited, you know, when we start talking about timing and time signatures and all that stuff. So, oh yeah. And just letting you guys know, next week... I kind of have a surprise for you guys. Not really a surprise. It really depends on you guys if you like surprises, if this is a surprise for you. It's a challenge for me, but it's something that I always wanted to try with you guys. And yeah, I'll announce it on Monday. So please check out that video and comment down below. Let me know if, you know, if you guys tried this out, if you guys have seen it before and, you know, if it's working for you, just, you know, let me know. It's, this is a fun combination that I often use a lot, especially warming up and all that stuff. And, and it's something that I've seen. Obviously, Tato Winas use it. And then people after him and Giovanni Hidalgo, Paoli Mejias, Pedrito, Eliel, Yoroldi. Yeah, this this combination is a, is a fun one. Pretty famous. Nicely known. So, uh, oh, yeah. All right, y'all. You already know what to do. Like, subscribe. And I will see you guys on Monday. Have a great weekend.